there, it's Shell, and we are going to talk today about sewing on anything. <laughs> so, kind of using our sewing machine to see if we want to add something to our signatures. Now, this is definitely something that is so much easier to do than if you had put the signatures together. So what I like to do is kind of go through my lace and stuff, of course, and kind of get a feel for what I want. Do I want lace? Do I want to use materials? You know, what exactly do I want to do? So I'm going through my lace. I have this, it's like a 12 by 12 scrapbook container. And I was just kind of going through here, just kind of looking to see what it was that I wanted to use. And do I like the white, which I kind of like that. I think that's really pretty. And I was also thinking maybe about eyelet. Because I have like a white and a blue eyelet. So I know my colors are pink, blue, and yellow. So maybe I should try to find like a pink uh, or yellow or maybe like a darker color. I have more in the bedroom. I have like four of these. <laughs> yeah, I have a problem. Actually, I have more than four of these. But look at this one. This one's kind of pretty and it's really uh, kind of small. That one's really pretty. Oops, sorry. That one's really pretty. So, I think I'm just going to use these colors that I have here. I'm not sure if I even have yellow or pink lace, but that's okay. Okay, so I know I want to do some sewing, and again, like I said, the sewing is so much easier <laughs> when you have your signatures um, before you sew them together. So I think I want to use this one, this one. I like that combination and then maybe a blue so but I don't like it gathered like this so more than likely I would have to take that out so let's get started let me show you what I'm going to do uh, you could totally skip this step or if you have put together your signatures and you can't sew them you can definitely just use glue to glue them down so it's whatever you want to do the most important thing when you are putting together your signatures is before you put your signatures together is think is there anything else I want to do that's going to be really difficult with my book intact <laughs> trust me that is yeah a huge issue so let's see what we can do um, so I am going to pull this up a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit. It's kind of hard to get it perfect there. And I want to go ahead. I know I want to use some blue. So I probably will do at least three pieces of blue. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these down. Actually, let me move this back just a touch until we are ready. Actually go ahead and pull this off if I would have thought about you know that I really wanted to use the eyelets before then most likely I would have already had it picked apart so sorry sometimes it's just <laughs> how long it takes so and it doesn't bother me you know it's kind of raveled unraveled and stuff I think that really adds some to the junk journal look so if you have you know pages that are unraveled or not pages but uh, yarn or fabric okay I'm just gonna cut <laughs> if I had like a seam binder ripper thing that would be easier but that's okay and really, even if you take off this, you're not going to have a whole lot left. So, it doesn't make that big of a difference if I just trim it. Okay, 
but I want one in each signature just to kind of spread it out a little bit. So we ended up getting about five inches of snow, which is wonderful for us. We're in an extreme drought right now, so anything we can get helps tremendously. And like I said, we had about five inches, and I thought it was supposed to snow today, throughout the day, but so far we haven't got really anything. That one. Okay, let me cut just enough for one more. So, if you know that you don't like the gather on eyelid or something, then, you know, like at night, I've heard of people just sitting in front of the TV, just kind of picking at it and unfraying it or whatever, unsewing it. <laughs> Okay, let me try. That's probably pretty close. One, two, three. That's plenty there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some of one of my laces, I think I want this smaller one right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim three of those also. And you can totally skip this step if you want to. I just kinda wanted to show you guys how I do it. And you know, you don't, it doesn't take a lot. And lace and stuff you can find at thrift stores, yard sales, things like that. I have found quite a bit of it. So, and as far as a sewing machine, you can use whatever kind you'd like to use. Some people specifically buy sewing machines for junk journals, but we have quite a few of them, so I just use what I have. It doesn't bother me, you know, if it was like a really old one, it might, but the way it is now, it doesn't. I just if you go ahead and just kind of have them all together then I think it makes it go much quicker okay so well here's what I'm gonna do Let's pull this in I know I want three pieces of lace here so let me make sure I'm in the right direction down. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I kind of want to spread them out. So if I put one on this page right here and then I removed it, then I would have one here. Does that make sense? So you're kind of, um, you have enough room in between them to kind of do what you want to do. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, and I'm doing three. Actually, maybe I should do four. Let me see if I have another lace. Might make it a little bit simpler for me. Let's see. Let's use this lace right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do one more for each signature. And you could use the same lace throughout. You could use fabric, maybe make a fabric, um, a fabric ruffle. Or you could, you know, use paper. And I've seen people make paper ruffles. If you're not into lace at all, but you want to add just a little something, you might be interested in adding some tabs. So you could add tabs with fabric. You could add tabs with paper and just sew them on if that's what you prefer. I like lace. It makes me happy. <laughs> I 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me pull this up just a touch. Let's see if that's going to work, actually. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I went ahead and pulled this piece of paper. This is about the second or third sheet in my signature. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put lace on this side and on this side. And that will give us two pieces of lace. So I kind of just kind of get them in my thought here. And I want, let's see, I definitely want a blue. So let's do a blue here and we'll do a white because they're both eyelet. So I think that's going to be the easiest and I don't have to stress about it too much. So when you're sewing, you can go ahead and you can change your um, change your stitch depending on however you want to. I kind of leave mine on a straight stitch most of the time. Sometimes I do go to a um, zigzag if I feel like I need that. So I'm just going to sew that real quick. that one I'm going to do, I did the blue, there you go, and then here I'm going to do the white. And that way my, um, it's kind of easy to, easier to keep up with it. So I don't really glue it down or anything, you know, before I start sewing it. You certainly could if you chose to, but that doesn't bother me. I tr just try to kind of hold it straight as I'm sewing. That one wasn't perfect, but that's okay. But if you wanted to, you could take it apart and do it again. However, this one is a little bit, um, it's a thinner paper. So I think I'm just going to leave it. Maybe I should glue, glue them. <laughs> However, if you do glue them, you, you want to make sure that the glue is well dried before you start sewing. So I'm just going to stick that in here. And if I decide to rip it out and do it again, I will show you guys that. Okay. So now I just want to kind of come in here and I want two more because I want one on this side and one on this side back here. So what I'm going to do is kind of see what I have in between. And actually, let's do this paper because I really need to sew the edges. You can glue the edges for the pockets, but I'm going to go ahead and just sew them. I'm going to do this lace, and then we will use uh, the other lace for the other page. So maybe I need to slow down a little bit. <laughs> This is the story of my life <laughs> with the sewing machine. Okay. Now when you're cutting threads, you don't have to cut threads. There are people in the junk journal world who love threads. So they leave them. They just leave them hang. So it's totally up to you. I prefer them to be cut. I just like that look better. So, 
but you know if you're looking for you know if you want it to be a little bit more junky perhaps then you could certainly do that um, some people have talked about how much quicker it is to not have to cut them so it's you know it's just preference it's just whatever you want to do put this back in here so you guys can kind of see what I was talking about. Put it right here. And then you have all that pretty lace here. Actually, let me trim these. that's kind of pretty I like how that you know kind of did um, where I sew that one is not such a glaring mistake right now so I think I'm just gonna leave it you know unless you really kind of um, unless it really really bothers you you know a lot of us just leave things like that because it is a junk journal and it certainly does not have to be perfect so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one I'm kind of going to do the same thing. I'm just going to find a page and I'm going to do my eyelets. So I'm going to do my blue eyelet here. And the thread I'm using isn't anything special. It was actually in a, like a box from a yard sale. I really don't use anything special, you know. If I had to, or if I were, were to buy it, it would be, um, I would just buy some cotton thread. So it doesn't have to be anything expensive, because you do go through thread. <laughs> but, you know, I buy a lot of things at yard sales and thrift stores and that's one thing I look for. Uh oh. I know, I know. Okay, let's see what happened here. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Oh, it kind of tangled up. Badly. Okay, let's try that again. See if it fixed itself or it's something I need to mess with. I have found that when you sew, you know, quite often, it breaks off the um, paper. And so the paper kind of gets into the sewing machine and kind of jams it up. And, like, if that happens again, then I'll have to take it apart and clean it. I don't know if all sewing machines do that, but mine does. And I can see that it would happen to all of them, you know. See how it does. Okay, well, I'm going to go and clean that, and I will 
will be right back. <laughs> Dang it, are you kidding me? You know what, Daddy? 